know why do the yolks always break? These are really fragile yolks. Also, symptoms wise today, currently requested, I guess. Basically, I have COVID. Okay, let's give a little pizza tour. And I really liked it. We're gonna start demolishing the basement. So I am choosing my classes for next year. Currently requested, I guess. I have this college writing class. I have AP Calculus. I chose the harder version for like the first choice and then the easier version for like the second choice. Oh, I should add Spanish 5. So do I just go look at both AP and Spanish Yeah, absolutely. Dang, you're having a I will show you which of my videos I have to take this year and this year I have to take my next year I think you should go ahead and see what you are most excited about Zoology and Ecology are the two but it seems like I have to take AP Physik the last year I will take it, it will be very good if it will be very good to take 3 to 4 AP the last year so I think I will take AP Environmental Science Sista gång jag måste göra att välja en historieklass. På slutet av GSC så måste man ta senior spring seminar. För det är helt omöjligt att ta en bara för att ta den. Men om den där räknas, då slipper du läsa den annan det som är lite av det som är. Men vad ska du då göra nästa år om det blir ett hål? Ja, det är en bra fråga. Så these are my current classes that I have chosen right now. Oh, it's gonna take three of you to push me up this hill. No, it is not. Get out of here. You don't need to use it. No, you don't need to use it. I feel like a three toddler in the parent. I got mango slush bawa tea and it was amazing. I have hot chai tea and I got classic kombu lung tea and it's good with a little sweet. Yeah. I got rose hip milk and it was good. I got and it was. So I got the rose hip lemonade because I wanted it to be a little different from daddy's. Really liked it. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! What is this sticker? Oh, so like, well, I did just scrape it, but it's not ruined. Oh, there's gummy bears too. And gummy worms. Everybody wow. Eat their share. <laughs> Favorite 20 different scoops of ice cream, brownies, Oreos, gummy bears, walnuts, gummy worms. What it what? Those hot fudge is just crumbs. Yeah, what's the flavors? Uh, chunky monkey, mint, strawberry cheesecake, chocolate yeah. therapy, and fish food. Okay, so this is the spot where we got photos. And it's Tuesday, the week before break, a bunch of stuff packing. My dad is in a meeting with our senior patrolier. They're working on their ego project, just has to finish that up. Here is our packing list. Like, the stuff that are here on this chair is actually from our camp up that we had this weekend. We got a chance to unpack, so I'll start that right now, because I think a lot of this is actually stuff that we're going to have on our trip to Portugal. Basically, I have COVID. We came home from our California trip and I tested positive. I was like starting to feel like a sore throat. So we came home, we had a red eye in the morning. So I took a rapid test. My sister tested negative. My mom doesn't have to test because she actually had COVID a little while ago. And my dad tested also negative. So I'm the only one in my family that has COVID. So the rest of the day, that day, I just kind of quarantined on my own. And the weird thing was like after I tested positive, the symptoms seemed to get worse. Like they had breakfast and then 
then we sat outside at breakfast with them. We were outside, they were far away from me and everything. We were just kind of doing things separately. So the first day when I tested positive, symptoms were really just sore throat and I had a little bit of like a headache. My back actually hurt quite a lot. The next day I was home, so we went to school. My mom gave me some breakfast in bed. I was home alone. I felt pretty well. The main thing yesterday though was that I had a really runny nose. So I didn't take any like cough drops. I didn't take any ibuprofen. The runny nose was really it for yesterday. And then I took a PCR test yesterday too, which I honestly don't know what the result was, but it's definitely positive. And then today is the second day that I've been home missing school. So yesterday I did a lot of schoolwork and then today I've also done a ton of schoolwork. I finished my video last night and I did the thumbnail all that this morning. I actually woke up a lot later this morning. I've just been like kind of working on schoolwork and stuff. And we also missed two days of school last week because we were with our trip. Yesterday was just like a lot of catching up on that stuff. I'm just like staying away and like they're staying away from me. And if I like go out of mine in Zoe's room, so we sleep on our guest bed here when they're home i have to wear a mask but yeah i'm going to do this oceanography slash game design thing a little bit of math homework and i'm gonna then edit So I have a COVID buddy now. So last night, so we actually ended up testing positive for COVID. I haven't vlogged at all today, which is really stupid because it's good to document. I really should have started earlier in the week and then you know, just like kind of shown the process of having COVID. Basically this morning I woke up, had breakfast, I read some, I did the lazy sonnet for English class. I just word post on my story where I was like gonna show everything that I did on my to-do list, but I haven't posted anything since then. And it is, so I did the whole first run through of my first day of celebration video so it's right like 25 minutes just a little under and now it's at like 14 minutes or something like that i worked on some cameras to watch the video that you told me to watch and we had lunch I means i just like chilled read watched some youtube and then i've been struggling with math which i think at this point i'm just gonna give up i just like laid everything out right here oh also symptom wise today i haven't really felt as much today at all i know zoe it has a really runny nose and has a really big sore throat like it feels more congested <laughs> Grogu apple from downtown Disney. Three blue macaroons from Chef Nova. I think it's a little cookie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It has a lot of crumbs, but it's good. It does have a lot of crumbs. Okay, Zoe, what do you think? Thumbs up? Okay, Daddy, did you try it yet? Like it? That's 11 things, like four or five of them is English. So a lot of English words today. I 
I just finished the first English assignment and now I'm going to work on reading that one story. I've been listening to a podcast on my mind with Ava Jules. Maybe what I'll do is take a break at some point during the day and edit instead of like waiting until like the very end of the day to edit. One more English assignment I have to do, and then I was like, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. The more work I, the more schoolwork I do today, the less schoolwork I'm gonna have to do over the weekend as well. So like, the more work I can like do on videos and just like relaxing. I think I'm gonna clean my desk. It's a lot to just look at this. Maybe that's what's like kind of getting at me right now, and we'll see kind of where the day takes us. It goes also symptoms wise today. It's just kind of again just kind of like congestedness. Like now that I'm talking, I'm kind of feeling it in my throat, like right here again. So I just finished my English thing for today and school technically is over since 12 minutes ago. I'm gonna do some can and I wanna work my game and I wanna figure out my partials and then I also have to figure out what I wanna do for my ego project which is very exciting. I know kind of like the general gist of what I'm gonna do is gonna be something with turtles. My dad contacted someone for me and I'm gonna get some sort of contact so I can contact them in more detail. So I emailed this a few weeks ago, no response yet and I emailed Turtle Conservancy like on Wednesday and no response from them yet other than like the automated response. So Zoe and I we went rollerblading. It was really fun. And then we got home. We talked to our grandma for a while. And now we are currently making pizza. So here we have so the successful. pizza. It looks really good. And then we have Zoe here frying an egg. Successful. Very successful. Ooh, I kind of want an egg now. Okay, let's give a little pizza tour. We're basically just like using everything that we found in the cabinet. So we have obviously the pizza from Trader no. Joe's. No, why do the yolks always break? These are really fragile yolks. Or I put pesto and then we put corn. Oh look, I, I didn't. I put corn in yours too. Was that okay? And we put artichokes and then Zoe put some. What's it Cheese. called? Olives. Cheese. Excellent. But then it's already past eight already Cheese. and we are making pizza, so we're kind of making it really late. But that's fine. It's, we're gonna be so hungry, but it's fine. Success. Success. Oh, did you take all of it? Yeah. Here, I have a little bit more. Here. Let's steal that. Here we are. Just hurry up and cook! Okay, so here's how the pizza turned out. We did kind of burn it because we were supposed to put it in there for like five to eight minutes, but we probably put it in there close to 30. So today's Thursday and we in Wednesday as last day of school. So tomorrow I have my final exam for chemistry. We are working on our final like project writing thing for English. Monday I have my final exam for my pre-calc class and then oceanography. We had like a final project. I have three classes left up that we're actually like really doing stuff. I had a field trip today in oceanography which was fun. Here we are. I'm working on my studying for my chemistry stuff. Okay, so we can have periods three and four tomorrow. And then we have periods one and two on Monday. And then Tuesday was supposed to be some sort of half day, but now it's a full day. Wednesday is our last day, which is also not the least day. We have all our classes that day too. First of all, Bumbles is here eating. And then so basically, we are finally starting our little renovation thing with our house. And so today, so then I got home and we had this outsider window and I'm assuming you can see that. Big red thing. We have to burn our house down, which they're gonna start demolishing the basement.
finding finding the motivation to actually do this studying she gave us a nine page thing of stuff that we should like read through and like there's some problems and like information that we have to like remind ourselves of <laughs> this final is only 35 questions and they're all multiple choice all online but we still have to like you know know our stuff know everything and i'm also having a hard time because the problems the answer key either is wrong or i'm just doing it wrong and i don't know what i am doing wrong if that makes sense i don't really know how this is gonna go <laughs> Thank you.